and winning our first practice match. You must be pleased with how that went today. Yeah, absolutely. I think for me, uh, the scoreboard obviously is important normally in footy, but it was more practicing um, with the scoreboard. So. You know, if they caught up a little bit, we had a, a certain reaction to that. Uh, if we got a gap, we had a certain reaction. So more so than the win, but obviously, um, yeah, you like to win as well. But it's uh, more how our ball movement was, stoppage structures, all that sort of stuff today. And on the whole, um, not too bad at all. There were some promising signs from the young Roos who haven't really played much footy. You must have been happy with how they went today as well. I think that's the most pleasing thing I got out of today is that you know, I'm really confident now that everyone on our list can actually impact. and. Uh, yeah, there was no one out there today that I thought looked out of place, so I'm um, pretty happy that, with that sort of side of things. What learnings do you take from today, given that the score doesn't necessarily tell the whole story? Yeah, I think it's really about just how you move the ball. I mean, you know, you come up with a game plan and until you actually practice it against an opposition that doesn't know what you're doing, you're kind of a bit panicky. So, you know, I slept okay last night, but I was still a little bit worried about um, how it would all work. And I saw enough today to suggest that the girls have, have started learning that and how we want to do it. And now what it is, it's a matter of you know, getting that better and trying to get it as much towards perfection as you can. You never get there, but you've got to sort of aim for that sort of thing. Given the build-up that we've had for our first competitive match, it must be great to get that first win under your belt. Absolutely, and as I said, it's, it's not so much about the scoreboard, but I think what winning does on a scoreboard, even in a practice match, it just builds belief. And the more you build belief, it creates momentum, and they'll be able to draw on that now in round one, um, knowing that they've played an opposition um, an existing AFLW team that actually plays pretty good footy. And, um, yeah, I thought at, at times, you know, Melbourne got, got momentum themselves, but we were able to get that back. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with the start. You've mentioned that cohesion is something that the girls need to work on. Were you happy with how everyone gelled today? I was. It was um, part of our build-up in our camp in Tasmania, and um, we spoke about resilience and, um, and making sure that when things don't go our way um, or we make a mistake, um, that we don't harp on the mistake. So that growth mindset, and I think that's all part of um, their learning processes as well. But um, yeah, just even the way that they um, position themselves and use each other and not just kick it to the Emma Carnies and um, you know, they make sure that they actually spread the ball and share the load. And, uh, and that, that to me is that they listened on the camp. They took, took in those, those values, I suppose, that you know, Trish Squires that spoke about it on, on the camp. And um, I, I reckon that's a really good sign for, for us going forward.